it's Rachel and welcome back to Looking for Adventure Art and today I have a super exciting video and I am so 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 excited and I have waited all day to shoot this video so you should know how great my self-control is right now because this is an unboxing video and I have been dying to unbox this all day. As I started to work on the calligraphy series which is now moved to Wednesdays because I already am doing so many videos that doing an extra day was just gonna kill me. So right now we have Mondays are scrapbooking and mixed media, Wednesdays are our current calligraphy series, and then Fridays are our easy DIYs for kids. But as I was working on this calligraphy series, I started to get introduced into the world of Traveler's Notebooks, which look really awesome. And Midori makes the original. There are companies who have now embellished and approved upon the idea and style of them like Chic Sparrow and Foxy Fix and lots of others. But I got mine from Buteo Bunker and I am really excited about it. I love the look of all of his notebooks and he is so nice. So when I emailed him and I was like, I don't know what to do. This is my first traveler's notebook. He was so awesome. He responded really quickly. This, sh this, this shipped really quickly. This shipped, uh, the next day, I think, and it came in two days. So that's, amazing and uh, he has this really cool thing on some of them that is called bottom of the barrel which is what I got and essentially it's a discounted price for normally you know more pricey uh, traveler's notebooks a lot of traveler's notebooks can be anywhere from $30 to up in the hundred and fifty dollar range um, so I got mine I believe for $20 the one that I was gonna get was only 10 and it was a beautiful blue but they didn't have the size I wanted that's okay I got one that looks like Indiana Jones because these are all made from leather so they will age over time. That's one of the beauty of them. They'll get scuffed and scratched and sort of change colors in the sun and everything like that. So the more beat up and worn it gets, the better it looks. This is the package that he sent me. It was USPS Priority Mail in two-day mail and it it looks pretty solid. It's actually pretty decent weight. That's probably from the inserts I got. I got quite a few inserts. He did tell me that people had reviewed them and said they were fountain pen friendly. So we will test them out and see if they're fountain pen friendly. Um, but again, this is my first traveler's notebook and I am going to work very hard on trying to figure out paper that can go in these that will be fountain pen and calligraphy friendly for you. All right, so the first thing that I see is definitely the Traveler's Notebook, and it has the little letter C, which is the last name initial for me, Cypress, and it comes with an extra elastic, so this is the leather sample of what the leather inside should look like. So you can use this as a uh, sort of like a little key charm for your keys, or you can use it as a bookmark, or you can just use the elastic as a replacement elastic. So I'm really excited right now. It looks awesome. Uh, I really like the packaging. It's very cute, very well packaged, nice and simple. Yee, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness, awesome possum. So this is my traveler's notebook. It looks awesome. I can take off this little piece um, and add it for later. It's got its hole punch. So again, I can use it as multiple different things. But this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's nice and dark, like a dark, dark walnut stain, almost black. It's even darker than I thought, and it's so pretty. I can see some of the scuffs and the marks and the lines, and it's just beautiful. I don't know why this is bottom of the barrel. Um, it's just so distressed and amazing. And I got it stamped right on the front. He has several different fonts you can choose from, um, which determines how many letters you can have. So I got Dream Big just right down here at the bottom. If I can, I'll take a little close-up photo and pop it in the corner but this is uh, awesome and so I can just pull this off and it's nice and floppy I really wanted one that's floppy that doesn't have as much structure it will break in even more as I use this so it will continue to get softer and softer as well and then he even puts in he puts in this to keep it all 
nice and shaped, but he even puts in his own insert. So I can pull this out, I can test it out. It's one of the blank inserts, it's really nice. Um, really cute cream colored front, not the regular craft. Um, but the Traveler's Notebooks, for those of you who don't know, um, tend to be just a regular cover. Let me pull this out. And so they tend to come with four elastics. Some come with fewer, some normally don't come with more, but four is pretty standard. And so all you have to do is take these inserts and find the center of them and you can slip it under one of these elastics. So you can have multiple books in them for multiple different things. You can actually take elastics and put them in between for even more fun. Some of some people like to jam pack this thing full. I'm going to try not to, I don't really want to, um, but this is really awesome. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at this, I'm so excited. It looks just like an Indiana Jones one. The next thing in the package should be inserts. So this is my invoice and oh and there's my r so there are my initials and some extra elastic in green it's so pretty i'm so excited so i will definitely probably hang these somewhere either on my notebook or on a key ring because these are really pretty i love these so and i'll definitely save the extra elastic they're useful for this stuff so again, he wrapped them really well so they wouldn't get bent in cardboard and then the regular like butcher paper, craft paper. And oh, look at that. Awesome. Look at all this. So here are my inserts. I got five of them um, to kind of try out a few different things. I know that he was running out of product uh, a little bit, so I had to sometimes go to my second choice. But honestly, everything on this site is amazing and it's a great price. And I think I ordered the correct size of everything. I'm sure he probably would have emailed me and told me if I didn't. Yes, they're all the right size. Um, so I like the rounded edges. This one, let's see, this one is lined. Oh, the paper is like glossy smooth. So that could be really fun for fountain pens or it could be a nightmare, but I think that uh, it'll do really well for fountain pen work, especially for some of my shimmer inks because it won't absorb. But this is, I got college ruled, I believe. They have a narrow ruled as well, but I, it's even smaller and I like to write with a broad nib. So I want fatter lines. It's really pretty. The next one I got has a pink cover and it is for bullet journaling because I have been trying to be better about write, writing down what I need to do during the day and doing a little checklist and that seems to be very helpful to me which it used to not be. So I picked the insert, he had several different ones that I think had boxes, uh, some of them had circles but I picked the one with hearts even though it was pink, not my favorite color but I thought the hearts would just be really cute and again it's got some really nice paper in it so I can't wait to test this out and let you guys know kind of how it works. The next notebook that I picked up is a five millimeter dot grid and I got this uh, because I recently picked up a Rodeo Web notebook with the five millimeter dot grid on it and I love it. I love it. I love Rodeo paper and I love that notebook. I'm still going to use it so don't think that I'm not because I'll use it for doing quotes and stuff like that but I wanted to pick up the dot grid because I love it so much. The Rodeos, however, has more of a light gray. This is black, and so I don't know if the dots will be more distracting to me or not because the Rodeo ones are very nice and fade into the background as you uh, write. But I did pick up two of these because I had two different reasons for them. I made a list of things that I would want separate notebooks for, so... I picked up two of these because I could only get one of the lined one. It was the last one left. And the very last thing that I picked up is a monthly calendar. I did want the monthly and weekly one, but I was not able to pick it up because they were out of it in the size that I got for the notebook. So this is just a monthly calendar. It seems that it will probably be big enough for what I want, so that's good. Um, this starts at June and then goes all the way through to next June in 2017. So I can still continue to use this even if I pick up a weekly one or a daily one or something like that. So that'll be really helpful. 
Now you may be thinking that I have five notebooks and only four elastics in there, so one's gonna get left out, but that is not the case because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white elastic, which is a little bit thinner than the green one, and I'm just gonna pull it out, and this is why these are handy to keep. That, and they make great bookmarks. And for the sake of this video, I am just gonna take two of my inserts uh, randomly because I will figure out what order I want them in later. But I'm just going to find the middle of each, which in these is very easy because they are staple bound. So they open right up to, there it is. They open right up to where they need to be. And I'm just going to lay them just like this. And I'm gonna take my elastic and I'm gonna put it over the middle of them nice and snug all the way to the bottom. So now they are attached. And what you can do is instead of just taking your regular notebook and putting the center through these, you're going to slip one book underneath it and then pull it through. So I'm just gonna pull it through right to the middle. And now you have both of them stuck in there. So look at that, you can stretch it out, make sure that it's all in there nice and secure but now you have two so if you ever want to use a few more books than the four elastics that is how you do it you they have specific rubber band ones for the Midori's um, and the elastics that match this work really well but I do recommend these are very good quality elastics so don't just use a regular rubber band because that won't necessarily work so that is it for our video today. I will probably do a video at some point showing how I decorate the covers of each of the little inserts. So if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below. But before we go, I do have a question for you and that is our question of the day. My question of the day for you is, what do you want to see first in the calligraphy series? Do you want to see just some generic handwriting practice, which is what I'm currently doing right now to try and get my handwriting better for you guys? Do you want to see fountain pen ink uh, reviews? Do you want to see uh, regular pen reviews? Do you want just a general 101 course? Is there anything in particular that you guys want to know about? Please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions and I definitely want to get started on filming some of the videos for you guys so your advice is very helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for all the daily updates. And if you happen to be using a Fodori or know of any great places to get inserts, feel free to email me or tag me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or I don't know, whatever kind of social media is that you guys do, because I want to see it. And don't forget, every day is a new adventure, so come back next time for a new adventure with us. Almost like little bunny ears, but if I was an alien. The next one, ah, I have hair in my mouth. <laughs> this is not the right one. This is not. This was supposed to go to somebody else. Well, the second package is mine, which is explaining why it's so much heavier.